And G. And this is Marcus. And we're looking at... What is this? This is Matt. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. Fantastic. Mm. Yep. Well, pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's not get too overboard. Um, I think Joel had a lot, lot of pleasure with this one. Yeah, it's... Um, hmm. <laughs> Maybe he did have a lot of pleasure with it. <laughs> It'd be an oversimplification to say it's like Tony Hawk's on bikes because they've done a lot to try and. Um, you said it now, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to try and um, change it so that it's not the Tony Hawk system that the original game used. But um, strangely, they've almost made it less fun somehow. I don't know whether it's. Is it because bikes aren't as fun as skateboards? Well, it's not, not developed by the same team, is it? It's not Neversoft. No. It's Rainbow Studios. That should se- set the alarm bells off a little bit. Mm. <laughs> really? But That's dissing, dissing Rainbow a bit, isn't it? No, it's just the fact that you know it's 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 trying to be Tony Hawk's, but it's not the mm. team who made Tony Hawk's. Right. And I think it's also that bikes just have a quite different dynamic to uh, to skateboards. Like, there's big patches of riding around and not as much furious grinding and stuff. And balancing's really, really easy. My best grind balance on this is about 60 seconds or something, which would, you know, be ridiculous in Tony Hawk's. Yeah, it's a kind of, it's a, it's a, like perfectly reasonable. Um, there's some really good bits in it. Like, lots of challenges, lots to do. Um, some really good combos. Um, but the fact is, it all feels like we've seen it all before. Mm. Um, mm. I think Apart from the flat hat tricks, which are uh, well, sort of an expansion on what was in Tony X Three, but they're quite nice all the same. I mean, look at the balance bars; they're the size of the moon. How's it comparing with something like Dave Mira then? Um, looks nicer than Dave Mirror. It's sort of more polished than Dave Mirror. Yeah, but it, it, it does. It does look bad, doesn't it? It's, it's more solid. Mm. Toka race driver. Yeah, we noticed the emphasis on driver because um, this time round, you're you're playing this character and you're following his story through the game. So it's a uh, it's a bit different to other other driving games on PS2 at the moment. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of the do you remember the old sort of uh, RPG modes that you used to get in stuff like um, Pro Evo and things like that in the Japanese ones. Mm. So that kind of where they're trying to sort of link it through, so you got a bit more of incentive of, uh, of playing the game through. Um, yeah, looks good. Looks really, really good in these replays and stuff. Um, not quite up to GT3, but yeah. but pleasingly. You know, solid looking and and very very smooth. No frame rate issues whatsoever. Looking really really cool. Um, but ultimately, uh, it's the kind of the handling is, is a little bit. Handling's a little sus- suspect, yeah. And the uh, cornering um, is a problem with the, the braking distances and stuff that um, we weren't too happy with. Um, but saying that, the AI on the um, the, dry, the other cars is 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 quite quite remarkable, really. Um, Tucker AI has always been really good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually it's a bit GT to, to shame. Um, the other cars react to what you do, um, and they'll try and shunt you off the road. Um, and the cars damage, which is always a bonus, yeah. as they're licensed cars. I think, uh, what do we score this then? What? About 82. 82. 82. Yeah. Firm, firm but fair. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of similarities with GT, and then it's... It, the handling is very different. The looks are, aren't quite as, as polished. If you're looking for something different, I mean, I'd say get this rather than uh, GT Concept, really. Oh, absolutely. Aeroplane Stalker. Yes. Not Ace Combat 5 <laughs> or anything like that. This is Dino Stalker. Oh. Why, Why the planes? Dinosaurs? Yes. No, they're coming. Trust us. Oh. It's, it's got a rather preposterous time travel intro. There's, I'll, well, let's just let the story unfold. You'll see for yourself. But yeah, it's got it's got this this rather daft little, little plot bit at the start. Yeah, Capcom basically got to try and uh, erase the memory of uh, of the Resident Evil shooter map. <laughs> <laughs> the, old, the old gun survivor. Mm. Yeah, gun survivor. The very mention of its name, hence Dino Stalker. No mention of gun or survivor in there, but ultimately it's another one of those Capcom wonder about, which is like innovative. This is the silly bit. <laughs> hey, not only, yeah, <laughs> All right. yeah, not only does he fall out of the plane, Brilliant. yeah, and there's a load of pterodactyls, <laughs> but then a massive gun appears in his hand. Brilliant. Hey, and then the shooting starts. Um, yeah, there's wandering about. You can move around and you can shoot at the same time. There's loads and loads of different control configurations. You can play the thing with the joypad, which is a bit hopeless. What you're supposed to do, of course, is have a G-Con 2 and move around with the D-pad on the back of the gun. 
and uh, shoot at the screen. Sounds great. It sounds like a good combination of stuff, but just like Gun Survivor, it's not exactly satisfactory at the best of times. I found the little the aiming a little bit off, even with like you know the proper official gun, you know proper finished game and everything. I found it a little bit mm. suspect, shall we say? Um, and ultimately, it's got the, yeah, but it has the, the big problem. It lasts two hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could, if you wanted to hammer through it, yeah. If you're a if you're a half decent gamer, it'll last you two hours. That's, and for my money, at forty quid, that's not long. Enough. Mm. It's always a problem with light game games. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to get around it. The thing is, unless they're utterly rubbish, like for instance, Gun Survivor, yeah. then um, then there's nothing wrong. You can always have fun with light gun games, and you know, a light gun game involving dinosaurs is always going to appeal to me. But for how long? Well, for as long as it takes me to go <laughs> and play it, and then I take yeah. it back to the shop. Uh, Here he comes, back in black. Paul Bosch. Bosch, fantastic. I do like video games based on films. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, there's loads of them coming up, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, not a platform game. Yes! But, oh dear, it's a shooting but, game. Ah, it's, a, it's one of those third-person action-adventure thingies. Mm. The thing... <laughs> they always are. Movie licenses mm. these days are always third-person action-adventures. Yeah. A lot of running about. A lot of banging into scenery. A lot of leaving the camera slightly, slightly behind. The, um... But the most go- uh, galling thing is is the, um, is the the it's not the real characters. It's no voiceovers. It's all surely these days they get it all sorted when the people sign on the line. You're gonna have to get involved <laughs> with the video. <laughs> yeah, come on, Will. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to shout. I've got a power up occasionally as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. So. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't look very good. No. <laughs> no. It's really very. It's it's very. It could almost be spaceships flying along. You just you just going into the screen most of the time. A little bit of sidewaysy stuff. The actual sort of play area you can, is about sort of 100 metres wide and it's one long sort of stripe and you just kind of work your way forwards until you, there's a little thing in the way then you've got to go left a bit. So it's not even particularly kind of very sort of like level kind of explory. You can just kind of like onwards, onwards, onwards through each thing. A lot of great lighting effects. A lot of yeah. great weapons, lots of nice particle effects. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just shooting stuff over and over and over again, really. Yeah, and uh, yeah, very little connection. Yeah, with you, the don't, movie. You, have, you don't have to find keys to open doors or anything. You shoot all the aliens and barriers open up, and you move between between the levels. And mm. I don't know. There's, there's not enough. There's, well, there's no imagination really here. Yeah, it's 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 very very brainless. They, they've obviously sold it. That thinks that's a good point. It's, it's just it's just fun. It's just a fun shoot 'em up game. Let's just get is, involved. Is there even a two player mode in this? No, because you choose choose your own character. You see, oh, that's handy. In USA, but trans world surfing. That's the whole world. Mm, mm. And we quite like this. We give this. What do we give this? Seventy two. Now I seem to remember somebody once saying they could never ever make a good surfing game. Well, yeah. That was me, and I still stand by. You're never going to get a 90% surfing game because basically <laughs> there's not enough to do on a wave. Someone's going to go and do one then. <laughs> they've, they've tried. They've tried some good stuff in here. You know, they've, tr- they've got this whole reef girl thing where the where the reef girl comes and flirts with you and goes, "Hello, I'm going to take you to a new wave now," which you know I quite like on a very shallow level. They've got you know they've got grinds in there. The trick system's quite easy to use, um, but yeah, ultimately after you've sort of messed about on a couple of different heights of wave you know there's no looking for lines there's no you know so it just doesn't hang together like something like Tony Hawk's or Matt Hoffman's does um, and this I mean this tr- it really does try hard the water effects are lovely it's got sharks in it but I spent after initially going oh god sharks I spent half an hour trying to get attacked by a shark like pad to the extent of paddling after them and splashing about in the water and it didn't work so it's from the uh, well, some Angel Studios, this, which is the same same team behind uh, Smuggler's Run, mm. and so there's oh. lots of lots of nice little touches in there. There's there's the evening um, and the day breaks, which are quite nice. Mm. Mm. I think no, the water effects are really nice, and the and the sort of feeling of riding the tube and stuff is mm. all very lovely. And you can rescue dolphins as well, which is good. Which I think is brilliant. Well, I'd prefer yeah, damn those, and damn those tuna. No, Oh lethal so um, so good the best surfing game there is yes yeah. Kelly Slater's on the <laughs> Kelly Slater's on the horizon there though so uh, yeah. looking alright the latest wow. favourite yep so, uh, got the unstoppable 
or two brand behind it. Mm -hmm. Man of stunts. Yeah, he's a stunted man. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is quite split the office a bit, hasn't it? Because mm. look at it, looks great. Oh yeah, damage, car damage, brilliant. Fantastic. Shadows, lovely. Had quite a lot, lot things. of potential. Great. Quite possibly the best idea for a video game for a long while. Mm. This is why it was game of game of E3. Yeah, yeah, you presented know. it really well, looking really, really cool. Trailer's funny, good, yeah. good, well done, well done. Bit yeah. of bomb. Cheers for that. Oh, it's game. Oh. Not that great. Let's not talk about <laughs> that. Oh no, you're out. It's no. Ultimately, it comes down to doing lots and lots of little stunts, and if you don't do the little stunt, you have to do it again. And now again. there's, <laughs> now there's a lot to be said for like kind of all that one more go type I game. I think in. yes. Now this is yeah. where I'm going to come in because I think that is great. Yep. Yeah. I think get, it keeps you going back. The whole team were entertained. Yep. It took an afternoon of everyone having a go. Everyone was having a go. Everyone was taking the mickey out of each other. You know exactly where you went wrong. You curse yourself. You restart the level. You want to you do it perfect. Now, you keep at it. I'm going to dispute this because that's all very well when you have got an office full of people going, Oh, go on, have another go. I'll make you a cup of tea. But when, when you're sitting on your own in your flat like I was trying to complete this, it drove me absolutely mental. Fun, but mental. Oh! <laughs>